It's really easy to create that cinematic title. So let's dive into DaVinci Resolve to show you how it's done. Okay, the very first thing that I'm going to do is you come to effects right here. And again, under effects, you can see fusion composition. Just drag and drop it to your timeline. Now let's get to fusion. And you can see this text tab right here. Just click it to add it here. And let me just join it like this. Now you can type in your text, uh, whatever you like. I'm going to type in DaVinci Resolve. And you can choose your font. Uh, I'm going to leave it open sans itself. And to make it more cinematic, I'm going to change from bold to light and increase the size a little bit and also increase the tracking, you know, to make it more cinematic. So once you have your style ready, just right click here and you can see an option called follower. So once you click that, a new tab gets created here called modifiers. So once you come to modifiers, uh, first thing that I would adjust is under delay, I'm going to put a value one. And then there is an order like how you want it to like from left to right right to left all these but here in this example i'm going to choose random but one by one and again you can choose the delay type like between each character or between first and last character i'm going to put between each character then you come to this tab right here called shading and come down under position there is an offset Z axis. This is where you want to keyframe. So what I want to do is I bring my cursor somewhere around somewhere around 30 frames, for example. You can choose, but I'm going to choose 30 frames here. I'm going to set a keyframe here. You press this diamond button. It sets a keyframe there. Then you come to the beginning of the frame. Then I'm going to, you know, like make the offset value all the way down so the minimum value is minus 0 0.5 but you can just type it to uh, go further below that so I'm going to type in minus 20 so now it's completely out of frame so now I if I hit play you can see that it's out of frame and it slowly zooms in to the frame like this and also randomly cool right now what you can do is to make it more cinematic you see the softness slider right here so i'm going to come to this frame again and hit a keyframe on the x and y and then go to the beginning of frame and i'm going to you know make the x and y soft i'm going to put it 20 Let's see how that goes. See it's soft. And then slowly it comes to focus like this. So if you think 20 is too much, you can, you know, adjust the value. So once you have done all these animations, you come into spline and select this text. And if you don't see any graph, just uh, see this arrow right here everything is here and I'm going to press ctrl A to select all and then press this one to ease in or you can press S on your keyboard so now it's a smooth animation so now if I hit play you can see it's a nice and smooth animation right here so now let me come back to the edit tab here and I have a footage here I shot with the drone so what you can do is you can just place it on top like this so you have a nice cinematic title now what you can do is you can save this fusion composition for that what you have to do is you can save it to your power bins now if a power bin doesn't show up you click this three dots make sure this is ticked in so show power bins so in that case what you can do is you can use it for any of your project so let me just drag it here like this it gets saved here if you want you can like uh, rename it like cinematic title 
now if you want to edit like uh, you want to change the text or the font or whatever just come to fusion and come under tools and you can make it whatever text you want and all those animations will apply to that new text as well cool right now you can adjust this fade slider right here you know so that it fades in the end now i hope you guys found this video helpful for those who don't know i'm fencer i do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel so if you're into that sort of stuff please consider hitting the subscribe button so if you guys have any specific tutorials that you want to know about uh, just let me know in the comments uh, i'll try and do them uh, that's pretty much it for this video thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next one